Hey, it's Mark here, and I'm just going to do an unboxing and brief review of the iOptron Gym 28 mount that I recently received. And I hope this video will be helpful to you if you're looking at mounts or just curious about what the iOptron mount is like. So let's get started. Here are a few close-ups of the tripod so you can really get an idea of how it's made. So the first box was just a tripod, expecting this to be the hard case with the other gear for the mount. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Quick start guide. Some cabling. An extension rod for the counterbalance. Tray and stabilizer for our tripod. Feels like some kind of cast metal, it's not plastic. Here's our counterweight to balance our mount. Here's the GoTo Nova controller. Shows the battery is not installed. Here's the connections for it. AC adapter. Another one of the cords, similar to a telephone cord. Looks like the power cord for the AC adapter. It's another one of the cords to connect the electronics on it. Keys for the hard case, Allen wrench, a 
Here's our eye polar, polar scope. Connections for guide, declination, and the power connection. Just set that lock, that lock was unlocked, it's spinning around a lot on me. And here's another declination connection. And an I port. And here's an HBX connection as well as 12 volt power. One more cable stashed in a little cubby hole. So it looks like the quick start guide just gives you the package contents, online resources available to help you, and then the typical instructions to get you started. Looks like you're giving us step-by-step -step instructions for the quick reference. Not all the instructions, obviously, that'd be in the manual, but it gives us a quick look. So it says to make sure you lock this in before you try to set this up and that way this is not spinning around on you because with the uh, gears unlocked or clutch what do you want to call that it's going to spin around on you while you're trying to mount it and so also notice these two screws there's a screw on each side that's just stuck here on the side and we need those screws to mount it to the base actually or to the tripod head and so you could put it up there then take them out but I'm thinking it'd be better to take them out you know before you go set that on there have them out so there's one of them you can see what it looks like and I'm gonna lay it down and take the other one out and then one other detail is you notice These two adjustment knobs, those actually screw into a hole that is where that alignment pin is going to go. And so you had to back those out. They were turned all the way in when I first you know, got it out so it'll fit over that pin. You notice these still stick up a little bit above the flat surface there. And then I also ran both of these knobs in on that alignment pin. Next we have this uh, tray and stabilizer. And you'll notice this tray has some angle on these uh, feet that go out against the tripod legs. So to me this obviously goes up. If it was down, the angle would be wrong for the angle of the legs on the tripod. So next step is to adjust the latitude. And you'll notice this uh, release knob here. And once we release this, we're able to adjust the latitude so let's turn this around so we can see the other side where the latitude setting is displayed so I'm going to adjust the latitude to 39 based upon my location and then I'm just going to tighten that down so the way this is stored, this shaft is inserted through the top. And so there's our shaft for our counterweight and we'll insert that into the bottom and thread it in.
and then remove the safety cap. Slide on our counterweight to give us enough space to put the safety cap back on. Because if that were to come loose, that cap catches it. And it says we ought to put it towards the end, this initial setup. And the next thing to do is to install the telescope and you'll notice it has this Vixen style mount. So this slides in to tighten down on the mount plate. So we'll just back it out so it's opened up and then we'll put our telescope on. So the quick guide says the next thing is to balance the payload, but before I do that balancing, I'm going to actually add the eyepiece, diagonal eyepiece, and sight scope, and that way we have the payload on there. So this should be a pretty good representation of the payload because I'm not doing any astrophotography. Obviously I'm just set up inside. So just to give an example of balancing. So before doing the balancing, I'm going to disengage the motor switch and that way it'll move freely to see if it's balanced. And just watch it when I initially do it. Looks a little top heavy there. That's pretty good, actually. Actually, it uh, came back after it went down. It's pretty close. And so I'm going to lock that one back in and now adjust the other one. The lock for this one is on the other side. Looks like our counterweight needs to move down a little bit. Seems to be pretty good balance right there. I'm just going to lock that back in. So next is connect these cables and you notice there's a deck port here. And we use the little short cable to connect that. There's also the guide connection here. And I'm not going to connect that at the moment because I'm not putting the guide scope on there at the moment. So we also want to connect our GoTo Nova hand controller. And that plugs in here to this HBX connection. And then we also need to connect our AC input. Well, converted to DC, it says there. You get the idea, plugs into our power. So now that we have the basic cables connected, and we also plugged into the wall, we can turn our power on.
And now we'll notice that our go to Nova hand controller uh, powers up and we have, you know, options available to us that this hand controller supports along with settings, alignment, etc. So now we're kind of at, have the basics set up and good to go. Obviously, um, a person would have to do polar alignment if they were outside and confirm that. And then they would be close to getting started. If you were going to install your guide scope, we'd also put that on. And this eye port is an auxiliary port for connecting other iOptron accessories, maybe like a GPS receiver or an electronic focuser. I also wanted to demonstrate slewing the telescope just to show that everything is working and confirm that myself. And this uh, hand controller has, uh, probably like a lot of them, the arrows to do the slewing, but then while you're slewing, if you choose one of the numbers on the keypad, it either decreases or increases the speed of the slew movement. Well, I've enjoyed uh, unboxing the product and giving it a quick run through. I hope that also gives you an idea of what the product's like and maybe help you make a decision if you're contemplating um, getting a different mount. And so I'm looking forward to some nice weather. Today is the first sunny day I've had in a while, and I don't know if it's going to hold because they're talking about more rain, but looking forward to an opportunity to uh, try out the product and really, you know, also include my um, guide scope and see how everything works together once I get it set up outside. So hope you enjoyed watching this uh, video. Hope it was informational and maybe it'll help you on the decision you're making uh, on your next product or at least know what's out there. And also if uh, you like, leave comments or suggestions and uh, give us a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful. And looking forward to uh, sharing some more videos in the future and uh, happy sky watching. <laughs>